but it's going to be a quick show today. I'm not going to kill you with a bunch of stuff, but I do want to talk about a few things. And you know better. If you knew better, you do better. But you don't, so you won't. But I can, I, and I am, right? So I, I think about what's happened with Kanye West uh, as of recent. You know he's pushing something. He wants some attention. He's going through something. God knows what it is. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to say, but obviously he's he's lashing out again, right? And he came out and said some things about the Jewish community that weren't flattering, um, that got him in trouble, and he can't tweet for a while because of it. And I'm not going to repeat what he said because I don't want to be on the Jewish it's the Jewish community's bad side. And Kanye knows better than to comment on the Jewish community. And I, I think he was making a point to show the power of the Jewish community. And, you know, having conversations with friends about this last night, and, and they were saying, you know, that if he attack any other community that the same thing would happen and i go eh, not really i i don't think the black community gets the same uh defense that the jewish community does and that's because in my opinion from my perspective the jewish community has set a standard of what they will accept and they won't accept even to the point that you can criticize the jewish community or a jewish person or you can make a Jew joke or a Jew reference, and if they don't like it, it's considered anti-Semitism, and um, that's <laughs> that's the label, and it's non-negotiable. And that's an immense amount of power for a community to have over the way they are treated and covered. But because they have it, they utilize it, and I don't blame them. And so when I think about the plight of American Black culture, I think about the power that Jewish culture has in America, and I wonder if we could unionize, if we could come together to create that same power, to create a, a community where we won't allow disrespect to be made towards our community. We won't allow people to categorize us. We won't allow people to place us where they want us to be, but instead place us where we demand that we are. You know, like, just imagine if we could leverage our dollars, our influence to when anytime someone speaks negatively against black people, that there's recourse for those actions. What if we could come together as black people and keep our problems in-house, but own what we have so that we own our talents for the most part? We have a true bargaining chip that's not just talent. You know, it's not obtaining success, making money just to give it away, but obtaining success, making money to keep it and invest it in ourselves, invest it in our talents, and eventually own the platforms that host our talents. Maybe we should just take a look at that and not the idea of separation from the American mainstream, but building our own mainstream. And if that stream flows into the river that is the American mainstream, then we do that. But if it doesn't, then that's okay too. But what do I know? I'm just a B baby, and I'm back. And I got